While the Wisconsin Badgers dropped a couple of spots in the national rankings to seventh after a weekend split with St. Lawrence, Badgers won the opener 4-2, then dropped the finale 6-3 that a team that was winless prior to that game. Now Wisconsin at the Kohl Center welcomes in fourth-ranked North Dakota. A long-time rivalry resumes. I'm Brian Posick. Head coach Tony Granado joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, Tony, I know I'm excited to see North Dakota here at the Kohl Center. The fans are, too. You played against North Dakota 17 times from 1983 to 1987. You had a winning record, too. What do you remember from some of those games? Well, I remember Eddie Balfour. I remember Herkus, Joyce, and Johnson trying to slow those three guys down. I remember uh, the crowds uh, and the intensity um, of of what I would have said was the greatest rivalry I was part of as college hockey. I thought the North Dakota-Wisconsin series was always the one that, that brought the most energy to the building, was the most intense, it was the most physical. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend just, just to bring back those memories. It started with the Archibald and Newberry incident at the, at the um, Coliseum. Coliseum, thank mm -hmm. you, uh, that I guess when I got here, that's all everybody talked about was that North Dakota and the water bottle incident, the fans running on, you know, back into the, uh, to see what was happening. So, so I think that the history of the two t programs, first of all, they're, they're, every year it seems like North Dakota or Wisconsin are in a national championship tournament. Um, every year you look at the NHL playoffs, you see a Jonathan Taze or you see a Schultz or you see a Suter or you see somebody or Chelios. You see a North Dakota or a Wisconsin guy having a star season in the NHL. So, so th these two teams are what they are because of the history, the tradition, and when they play each other, it means a lot of excitement. Yeah, and both of these teams are figured to be in the national championship chase this year too, which makes it even more interesting this season. This will be a good series for you. It's going to be a great series for us. I've just watched their last few games. Uh, they're an elite team. They're a team that uh, um, right now is playing, I think, as well as anybody in the country. Obviously, Denver's off to a tremendous start, but I think North Dakota is right there with them on, on the type of team they have. So. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a really good measuring stick for us. We think we're having a really good start, too. We think it's going to be uh, an exciting year for us. Uh, so when you play these teams and you can kind of see where you're at, uh, you know, we're in November now. You see where we're at in November against this team. Then you'll see a Notre Dame the next month. We'll see where we are against Notre Dame. And then you see the Penn States and the Michigans and, and Minnesotas. Minnesotas. Yeah. You always have measuring sticks as the season goes along. And you want to see progress. And you want to see your team improving. Uh, when you play those big series. So, so this will be a really fun series for us. It's one we're looking forward to, and I know the fans are looking forward to it as well. Definitely. And the freshmen looking forward to it too. They've never tasted this Wisconsin-North Dakota rivalry. One of the freshmen is defenseman Wyatt Kalnick, and we'll spend two minutes with Wyatt coming up. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialists at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Me and you just singing on the train. Me and you listening to the rain. Me and you sitting on the lawn. Me Step up to GMC and get 12,000 total value on this specially equipped 2017 GMC Sierra SLT model. We are professional grade GMC. So what's it been like uh, your first uh, couple of months or a few months here in, at the University of Wisconsin? Uh, it's been awesome. It's been a blast so far. Uh, on the ice, off the ice, it's been great. I, I think as a group we're starting to come together a little bit. So I think, uh, yeah, so far it's been awesome. Tell us about your hometown, Verdun, Manitoba, right? Uh, yeah, Verdun, Manitoba. Uh, population, probably, I think about 3,500 people. Uh, it's an oil town, oil capital in Manitoba. So, um, yeah. No, I probably know most people in the town. It's a big hockey community. Um, yeah, it's home. I love it. Yeah. How many gas stations? Two. 
Okay. Two gas stations. Any McDonald's? No McDonald's. Uh, there's a Tim Hortons and uh, one set of stoplights. Okay. Yeah. How many times have you stopped at the Tim Hortons? Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite a few times. How many times have you run the stoplight? Uh, <laughs> it's right in the middle of town, so I, I tend not to go that way. You're a 20-year-old freshman. Did you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm more than ready to step into the collegiate game because you performed very well and looked very comfortable at it? Uh, yeah, I think I kind of maybe could have stepped in maybe a year ago to college hockey, but I didn't think I was quite ready, um, probably size-wise and, and, and more so just like mentally-wise. Just Maybe I wanted to like have a good year in junior before I um, moved on to college. So, yeah, I think playing that extra year was – maybe beneficial for me. Twice this past weekend against St. Lawrence, I thought you scored your first goal as a Badger. <laughs> did you too? Um, on the first one, I, I thought I did. Um, um, but it obviously hit Freddie in front. And on the second one, it was I knew that uh, Wags got a piece of it. Uh, obviously, uh, the ref didn't see that. But uh, yeah, the second one, I knew that Wags for sure got a piece of it. So. Uh, it's it really doesn't mean that much. It's just kind of funny now that we look at it. Yeah, because the PA announcer announces your first goal as a Badger, yeah. Wyatt Kalnick, yeah. and he was wrong. It wasn't yeah. the case. <laughs> yeah, twice actually. It's gonna so, come yeah. at some point, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, maybe hopefully I can get on the road so he doesn't have to say it again. Hey, I thought you were choosing the flute. Everyone is doing flute. Buick now has an SUV for that. Where's your brother? Hey, Mom, it's a tuba. Buick Enclave, one of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. See your Buick dealer and get over 10400 total value on the specially equipped 2017 Buick Enclave Premium model when you finance through GM Financial. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know. I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable. We just heard from Wyatt Kalnick, who last weekend against St. Lawrence had a pair of assists in both games. Thought maybe he had his first career goal in both games, too. Didn't work out. He'll eventually score some goals, but you can tell he's pretty gifted running that power play, and he's a good defenseman, too, isn't he? He's been outstanding. Uh, love his poise with the puck. Uh, when you can put a freshman on the point of a power play, and, and especially when you got Fredericks out there, you got Hughes out there, you get tons of skill out there to put him out the top and basically have him run it shows where he's at in his career. So I think uh, he's been a real uh, uh, big impact player for us early in his freshman year, and I think he's going to continue to get better. His, his uh, practice habits, his off-ice habits, his work ethic, uh, and his hockey smarts are all going to help him get better each and every week. Yeah, and you've got a number of freshmen that have stepped in and done a nice job for you too, and I know it'd be nice to see Linus Weisbach back, back in the lineup. Hopefully we'll see him here soon too. Right? Yeah, he's back practicing regularly, so I, I think he'll be in the lineup this weekend. Uh, obviously his speed, we saw his goal scoring ability on his three goals he scored. Those are mm -hmm. pretty impressive shots, so we need him in the lineup uh, to add some more scoring to us. So, uh, But yeah, our freshmen have been great, and and uh, they get their taste of North Dakota this weekend. Yep, and finally, I have to ask you, fans want to know, will you get North Dakota back on your schedule at some point? You go to Grand Forks next season, nothing's set in stone after that. Well, we're going to try, uh, just for the fans mostly, and the other thing is the rivalry that we do have, the players that come in have heard about it, know about it, they should experience it. I think that, that there's nothing better than when our two teams get together, whether it be in Grand Forks, whether it be here, whether it be in a tournament game somewhere, uh, that's what college hockey is, is we want our players and I'm hope, hoping North Dakota wants their players to have the Wisconsin North Dakota thing in, as a regular every year. Let's play them. I agree. I agree. Thanks. Have fun Good. this weekend. Thank you, Brian. Tony Granato, Badgers head coach, Wisconsin and North Dakota, Friday and Saturday night. We'd love to see you at the Kohl Center. You can listen to both games on the radio on the Badgers.